this is Kat, and today I'm going to show you a bead haul from Michael's. So for this bead haul, kind of had a little bit uneasy experience, because mostly my fault though. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the mailers. So when I looked at the mailer, the top gives you dates to suggest to come for the sales, and I thought that the coupons in the mailer had to do with those same days, but apparently the coupons are for other days as well, following the sales. This was a little weird, because I took the coupons to Michael's, and I was thinking I was going to be using them on these beads. I also was a little confused, because instead of them having a sale on a certain brand of beads. They had a certain color, which I didn't, un I guess I just wasn't thinking about it, and so I thought, oh, well, it must be all strands. So I picked up m some strands that I normally wouldn't at full price. I'll tell you more of this story as I show you the beads, but here are the first beads, and I really like these. I plan on making something for my niece because she's obsessed with the emojis right now. Aren't they cute? They say these on here that these are polymer and they don't feel like polymer clay. They feel like just normal plastic. But you know, they probably are. If you look at the variations of the faces, I think they're quite cute and funny. But yeah, I'm looking forward to using those. Those are one of the things that I ended up paying full price for, along with all the other red ones. And see, the thing is, my plan initially was to use the 25% off regular items anyways, and that would have gotten me a deal. But unfortunately, due to the date mishaps, I had come too early to get that deal. And they didn't tell me this until after they scanned all my items. So not only did I misunderstand that these were not on sale, but they also did not apply for the coupon for 25% off my entire purchase or 30% off all regular priced items. So I didn't get any sale on these and ended up paying about four times as much as I had initially planned to pay for them. So, that was kind of a bummer, but I didn't return them. It was my mistake, and they'd already scanned them up. I mean, I did ask them if the coupons were, be if I could use them that day, and they had said yes, but then when they scanned them, it didn't work. So that was a little upsetting. These were 70% off, and so I was not upset about these, although I was planning to get another little tiny bit off because I had one coupon that was supposed to go on top of sale items so those were more expensive than I thought too the only coupon I was actually able to use was 50% off one item which I used on an item I'm going to show you last because it was a big item but it was a really disappointing to buy a lot of beads at full price that I thought I was getting on sale. It wouldn't be upsetting if I'd done it on purpose, but obviously I had planned on spending a lot less this day. And before checking if the coupons would work, the person had already scanned all my items and then told me they wouldn't work. And then I... I was with my husband, and I wasn't planning on, you know, giving them a hard time, but we really weren't planning to spend that much. I think I like Hobby Lobby better. This was just a hassle, and as much as I love the beads at Michael's, it seems like I'm always running into problems when I'm doing orders with them. I mean, online, all the coupons work. I understood the deals because they popped up and they showed, oh, this is working. And if something didn't work out, you could just take it out of your cart. But in person, it didn't seem to work that way. The only problem is online, as I showed you in a previous video, the shipping wasn't 
the best. I mean, most of them made it, but a few didn't. Got a little crushed, but eh, that's the risk in buying things. But these were another I paid full price for. The funny thing is the ones I paid full price for were actually initially less expensive than the ones that I got 70% off. So there's that. I also think that in Hobby Lobby, their sales are a lot more easy to read. It just gives you a brand and it tells you this is the sale. For this one, it was my fault because I, you know, I thought I saw strong beads and I saw 70% off and all of them were mixed up and these, it said 70% um, off and it had it above, you know, all of the mixed strong beads because the green label ones is the one it said was on sale and I didn't see anything that said green label on it but then I I was like oh okay they just mean the strong beads underneath here because all it had was bead gallery so I was like they must mean bead gallery and then I figured out in it clicked to me that they just meant the ones with the actual color green so you know there's that here is one of the green ones that were on sale. Aren't these pretty? I was obsessed with these. It would have been nice if I had just gotten a couple of these instead of the red ones because these were actually on sale like I planned. I mean, like I said, I still like these. I just wouldn't have paid as much because at full price, these are $4 and I wouldn't normally pay $4 for these, you know, I, it's not a terrible price, but it's not a great one. A lot of their beads are overpriced at full price. That's why I didn't want to spend full price on them. But, you know, I'll make some fun things and still enjoy them. Because the best thing to do is be positive. These were 50% off, which is what I expected. I didn't expect... To spend much less on these so that wasn't too upsetting I mean all like I said I had a coupon I think it was the 25% off entire purchase including sale items that would have been nice to go with this but then of course I noticed later that it had been my mistake and hadn't noticed but um, two of the coupons the reason they didn't scan in was because they were made for later dates, but I wish that they would have sent them on a different mailer because it didn't make sense to tell us to come these days for this sale and then send coupons on it for another day instead. It's like, well, you live and you learn. I think it's a lot easier to use the one coupon at Hobby Lobby and not have to think, oh, it's going to be this day or that day. It'll just be every day once a day, and I can do that a lot easier. And their sales are always just really clear. So, yeah. But these, all these beads are still nice, and, you know, um, my husband doesn't mind paying full price for items sometimes. He was also a little disappointed, but he... He still let me get all these things because he was buying them that time. And he, I think he just didn't want to cause a hassle either. But yeah. Um, those are the things I got. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, this turtle was really cute. But like I said, I was trying to get a percentage off regular price items. Or at least my entire purchase. And this was $5, and I did not want to pay $5 for this, but it is beautiful, so I don't feel so bad about that. Because it is a beautiful product, and I will be keeping this one on a special necklace for myself. Since my husband picked this one out. But yeah, good bead selection that they had. I just wasn't super excited to pay more than I planned, but that happens sometimes, and you still gotta enjoy things. 
and yeah I'll show you after this um, the biggest thing I got which was a soldering kit which I planned to use for a couple products projects sorry but I would I'm planning on doing a couple projects and I'll talk to you about that a little bit when I show you this soldering auto this the soldering kit next So here is the project, the first project I did with the soldering kit when I got home, and I thought it came out okay because I've never tried anything like this before. I'll continue playing around with this kit. I noticed that right away in the very first use, the tip of the device got discolored, which I kind of don't mind. I think it's kind of a cheaper kit for what it is. Originally, this was $40 in something maybe 45 but I got half off with the coupon which was the coupon that worked for this I also bought some of the flux for it this is the stand and it was kind of flimsy so I didn't use it I actually used a stand that came with my cheaper burner kit and that's it thanks for watching